Hello and welcome back to my Astro Imaging Journey channel. As you can see, a uh, way to batch pre-processing script. So let me add these in here while I'm talking. Um, yeah, I was really excited about... Uh, sorry, trying to talk in... Uh, select my files is just not working um yeah i was really excited to see this one if you've been with my channel for some time you'll know that in the beginning i was a big proponent of the batch pre-processing script um, until i learned how to stack the stuff myself and got better results and part of that is the waiting in the sub -se subframe selector process. But now they have come up with the weighted batch pre-processing script. Just looking at some of the options here. I think. So, we're gonna, we got a nebula, so we're just gonna keep with the nebula drop down. That's a neat little feature. Um, I haven't done too much reading, so I'm kind of going on on the fly here. Um, definitely want to check the ESD algorithm make sure our CFA is selected let's do an output directory or reference frame um, yeah that's that's a nice addition uh, being able to select our reference frame. That's one thing I was a little worried about. Let's see what we got here. Uh, one second here. Odd that it's saying that my calibration frames are zero seconds. Um, all right, so and my calibration frames are definitely at the longer length I wonder if something got overwritten in the headers when I integrated those darks but we're going to run it anyways. Nice little warning. All right. So if I read this correctly, they're just giving you a little warning that, hey, this won't produce the optimal results. Please do it manually to get the best image possible. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, yeah. Using this as a test anyways, but it's nice that they're warning us ahead of time. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yep, don't show this in the future. All right. We will let this run. And we'll be back when it is completed. Hopefully it... Hopefully it does a pretty decent job. I'm kind of curious. So, see you in a few. All right, should be coming up on about done here. It looked like during the star alignment re or registration, it really didn't do too many files. Uh, it's one thing is you can't play with like the noise reduction like I could in the star alignment. So, we'll see what we end up with. 
actually is not too bad. And register 50 of 226. So yeah, that's why it only took about an hour and a half to run as opposed to quite a few hours. Um, all right, so that's our errors. Yep. So I only did 50 of the 226. But we'll take a look at our data here in a minute. All right, yep, okay, let's close this out. Let's open up that file. Get rid of our rejections. Yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of those. And definitely looks different than when I manually stacked it. So let's do a little ABE and take a look at the data. And I forgot to do subtra subtraction and get rid of the background or the yeah, background map. So, there we go. That should be what I'm looking for. Let's stretch it, and now that's gonna. Eh, not not too bad for a script to just. Go and uh, do something real quick. Um, it would definitely be worth running if I had a data set and I just wanted to run it overnight so I could see in the morning uh, if all 226 had worked. Then I knew my data set was good and I didn't have to make too many adjustments and I could probably just run with it. But Clearly with 50 out of 226, a lot of adjustments that would have needed to be made. So what I've already done was the better result. Uh, not too bad, actually. Uh, probably won't use it um, again until I get uh, you know, a cool camera. A more dedicated camera than this DSLR. Uh, my DSLR is really noisy and obviously it's not cooled so uh, that's gonna be it's definitely gonna put a hindrance on being able to use that script going forward uh, but for now I think the process I got works pretty well for the manual process but it was a fun experiment to try and try and use so uh you know if you got better data than i have maybe it'll work for you um you know if you're if you don't like manually stacking and you just want the script to do it for you then yeah definitely could be for you um maybe one day i'll go back and uh do a comparison on what the batch pre-processing and the weighted batch pre-processing and then what manual processing. Maybe I'll do all three and compare the results. I might do that. Not anytime soon. Holidays are coming up. So, um, yeah. Hope you liked uh, this little experiment. I definitely found it a little bit informative. And, uh, yeah was excited to see it now I definitely know I'm not going to be using it so I can take that off my tool belt and yeah all right well I want to thank everybody for watching please stick around for the outro uh 
as always, clear skies, and have a good one. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching yet another episode from the Astro Ninja Journey channel. Really appreciate your viewership. In our upper right, we have the latest video that I have posted prior to this one. Down in the lower right, we have what YouTube thinks you will enjoy. Below is a subscription link. Please hit that like button, subscribe if you so choose, ring that bell if you want to get notified of something new, and as always, thank you, clear skies. Remember to.